Number 11. How much protein, fat, and carbs do active men and women need daily? And can we really eat all we care for and throw away the term everything in moderation when it comes to food? Well, I, used, I mean, we used to have numbers, okay? 30% fat, don't, don't, you know, you try to get lower. Mm -hmm. We have all these numbers for things. I, I have a problem with the num numbers. Mm -hmm. Because every time science comes up with some numbers, then the public reads, oh, I, okay, I can get this close. I don't want to, you know, they get fixated on numbers. Yeah. So I, I don't go in for numbers too much, so I don't, I can't tell you exactly okay. you know, these numbers. What determines for me uh, that information is just eat, whole, just eat vegetables, fruits, grains, legumes, and maybe some nuts, um, and just eat them in almost any combination. And, and you they, actually they, say that potatoes, even if we, we ate potatoes for a while, we'd still get enough protein yes, from potatoes. That's right. That is the key point. This kind of diet, with all these vegetables and stuff like that, we get all the protein we need. In fact, we get ideal levels of protein. We don't need to consume animal food to get the protein. It's out of the question. And so, then when it comes to fat and carbohydrate, for example, in that kind of diet, mm -hmm. then, it, then once you know that works, right? That, that's the sort of starting point. We know that works. Then you can go back and ask, well, how much carbohydrate is in that kind of diet? Or how much fat is in there? Right, right. And that's kind of interesting because the average carbohydrate in that diet is around 70 to 80 percent, maybe even higher. Carbohydrate only comes from plants, by the way. So it's around, you know, 70, let's say 75 to 80 percent. And our bodies and brains mainly function off of carbohydrates. Yes, for energy. You're right. Um, we need energy, obviously, and uh, we can get energy mostly from one of two things, either fat or, or carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. In theory, you can get some from protein, but that doesn't really count, to be honest about it. You get some from alcohol, too. <laughs> but, <laughs> right, so in, in terms of the major foods we eat, um, that it comes from fat or, for, or carbohydrate. Um, the keto people, you know, on the animal side, they want more fat, you get more energy that way. Mm -hmm. You don't get from carbohydrates. So it's, it's, the, the reverse is true. When we're eating plants, we get all the energy we need from the carbohydrate. It's Carbs called. are good from whole foods, like fruit. <laughs> don't be afraid of fruit. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> right. I mean, when you're eating whole food, that's the key. You know, you, you take out the nutrients and eat it by themselves, problems. And so everything in moderation, we can throw that term away when it comes to whole food, plant-based nutrition. Mostly. I mean, you can. some people have a tendency, let's say, to gain weight. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, um, and they, they, if they're, you can, you can overeat a whole food plant based diet, especially if you're emphasizing, let's say, maybe potatoes. Mm -hmm. You know, if that's the only thing you eat, you might have some difficulties. Okay. But uh, usually if you're, if, if it's a variety of fruits and vegetables and right. nuts and seeds and grains, right. you can really eat until you're satisfied yes. and then move on with your life and you don't right, have right. to say, oh, I'm only going to eat 90% of my plate or I'm only going to eat 40%. I, I actually come from a background of eating disorders and I grew up with, I think most women do um, right. nowadays because we all want to stay thin and look good and we think, oh, well, I just, I'm going to eat half. <coughs> I'm only going to eat a, a quarter of my plate and I'm going to starve and right. as long as I'm hungry, I'm losing weight. And this really set me free. This way of eating really... It does that. It did. And I just can eat until I'm satisfied and full. Sometimes, to be honest with you, to be, to be transparent, sometimes I'll overeat. And I'll be like, this is so good. I just want some more. And I'll sure, eat until I'm stuffed. Right. And I'm, I'm in the best shape of my entire life. I mean, I don't overeat all the time, but sometimes yeah. I'll eat until I, more than, than satisfaction. Sure, you shoot the mark a bit. Yeah. yeah. And it has set me free from my eating disorders. So um, That's interesting. But yeah. that's true. It's true. That's really true. I mean, one of the features of a whole food plant-based diet, as a matter of fact, it tends to sort of set the uh, the, the bar for uh, appetite. It does. And then you eat, and then you can move on with your life. And I'm not constantly right. thinking about food because I'm hungry all the time. Exactly. Because I was eating in moderation. Right.